Well, I think it's safe to say that it's a very slow walk today, but we're slowly getting there, one stop at a time. <laughs> Porter's got his new fleece on, little roll neck. Very cute. It's not the most spectacular of sunrises today, but I just love how every single sunrise is different. Certainly turned into a beautiful morning now. Ducky. That's how we'll all be gliding through 2022 this year. Well, this is the first attempt to try to get Barkley to walk with us today. And so far, he's been very overwhelmed by what's going on outside that he doesn't do much walking. He does a lot of sniffing and a lot of chewing. <laughs> oh, the big wide world. Come on. Uh, Barkley. I think he likes the texture of grass. He seems to always navigate to the Barkley. grass. Barkley, no. <laughs> well saved there by mummy. <laughs> He's a proper little verge crawler, isn't he? Yeah. Well, that wasn't the freshest of walks this morning. However, it was still very enjoyable. I think I mentioned in one of my recent videos how much I'm really enjoying and loving my morning walks. And I have Lydia to thank for that because I was very much a lounger in the mornings. Like I never used to like to train in the mornings. I was very much an evening trainer, training meaning gym by the way. <laughs> and um, Lydia really got me and pushed me into training in the mornings and actually really enjoyed getting my training sessions out of the way. So in the evenings I could relax, put my feet up after a hard day's work. And I kind of just, switched around my daily routine and it worked for me. Now, getting up even earlier to then go for a dog walk was another stage, another hurdle that I'm actually really pleased that I took. It just is such a fulfilling and free experience and it's such a privilege to be able to just go out in the mornings and enjoy the sunrise that is literally the gift that just keeps on giving. It was actually only this morning that we were talking about the snooze button. Now, there'll be some of you on here that are like professional snoozers and there'll be others that just like to get up as soon as the alarm goes off. And personally, I would say that I like to give myself like 10, 15 minutes in the morning before I wake up. I know that it's probably gonna be very common that people like to snooze for sort of half an hour, but actually, if you were just to wake up and get up as soon as your alarm gets off, I can promise you, you will feel better for it in the long run because I personally feel like snoozing just makes you even more tired. Um, anyway, I'm going a little bit off tangent. <laughs> Today, I have absolutely no plans, but I did want to sit down and talk to you because normally I'd be starting this discussion with over the weekend Lydia and I watched, but I'm actually very privileged and very proud to be able to say that this year I am gonna be partnering with Sky on their Sky Cinema Club. Now, for anybody that doesn't know, Sky Cinema offer a range of blockbuster movies and this year they have got 52 Sky original films that are gonna be released. That's one every week. So we're gonna be absolutely spoiled for films. I'm looking forward to over on this channel sharing with you my thoughts each month of some of 
my favourite films that featured on Sky Cinema across that period. Now this brings me on nicely because over the weekend Lids and I watched Save the Cinema. Now Save the Cinema is a movie that's based on a real life story that happened in 1993 in Carmarthen. I've probably absolutely annihilated the pronunciation but it's based in Wales and it's, I don't want to give too much away but it's a film about a tenacious hairdresser that is extremely passionate about a theatre and she goes to some great lengths to try to save the cinema from demolishment. And the theatre that was also a cinema called The Lyric meant a great deal to this hairdresser. And she showed that if you are passionate enough and you love something enough, it's worth fighting for. And that was a lovely little message actually that I took from the film. She even contacted Steven Spielberg to see if he would show Jurassic Park at the theatre. And you'll have to watch it to find out what happens. But if you're somebody that enjoys real life documentaries and stories, then this possibly is a good film for you. If you've been a subscriber on my channel for a while, you know that I've visited Wales quite a few times over the past 18 months. I think it must be like five or six visits. So if I am ever local, I'd actually quite like to uh, pop into the village and uh, just see what it's like. Fortunately for us, Sky actually have a YouTube platform where they share trailers to all their Sky original films. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description box below and I encourage you to go over there, watch the trailer. There is a really interesting, I guess it's a fact at the end of the film, just before the credits come on. It made me smile when I found that out. I thought it was really interesting and a lovely thing to share at the end of the film. So make sure you stick around all the way to the end when you do watch that because I thought that made me laugh when I saw it. And also I should mention that if you are not already signed up to Sky Cinema and you're an existing Sky customer, for an extra £11 a month you can sign up to Sky Cinema. Um, it would be really lovely to enjoy these films and be able to share these films with you because these are exclusive Sky Originals. Whilst there will be blockbusters that come onto Sky Cinema that we can all enjoy, you can only watch Sky Original films over on Sky Cinema. So make sure you get that set up ahead of this year because I am going to be coming forward with lots of suggestions and some great films to watch over the next 12 months. And just as a heads up, the next film that I am going to be watching is a critically acclaimed movie called Mass. And the storyline is essentially two families that sit down to talk through build-up of tension that's happened from a very traumatic event. And it's filmed predominantly in that one location. Again, you can go and check out the trailer over on Sky's platform. I'll also leave a link down to that below. It looks very intense. It's one of those films that I think is really going to get your heart beating. So um, that's going to be really interesting. It comes out very, very soon. But as I'm sure many of you are aware, Sky have got such a great association with film. I think that we are going to be jam-packed with things to watch this year over on Sky Cinema. So if you've already watched Save the Cinema or you're planning on watching it, I would love to hear what you thought about it. Make sure you uh, let me know in the description box below. I always love to ask for suggestions and recommendations and I find it so useful uh, over on Instagram when I just ping out a Q&A and people make suggestions for things to watch. There has been some absolute crackers. So I think that this relationship can work both ways. I'd love to hear what you guys suggest that I should watch, just like I'm hoping to be able to suggest to you great things to watch as well. I am getting very very hungry. The day is a lot later than I was hoping it to be. Liz and I didn't get back from our walk until 10. Yeah it's about 10 a.m this morning so the day is ticking on and I need to get some lunch done. Let's get cooking. Well today for lunch I plan on doing a butternut squash soup. I only recently actually learned through Carrie to make a soup and so I'm not sure if it's like the official way or if it's a carry way but it's the way that we're going to be doing it today. So the plan of action is I'm going to stick you up here actually a little bit higher is that better? Yeah that is better. So the plan of action is I'm going to chop up an onion I'm going to get some butter and garlic and I'm going to put those into a saucepan and I'm just going to let those basically break down so they're nice and soft. Whilst that's happening, I'm going to get a butternut squash and some peppers and I'm going to chuck those into the oven at 200 degrees and roast them. And once that's complete, I'm going to add that alongside some vegetable stock hot water and I'm going to work that into the actual pot where the onions are with some sage, uh, salt and pepper. And then we're going to let that cook away for a little bit and then I'm going to get a blender and then blend it all up. We'll probably end up putting some sunflower seed on top just to finish it off, give it a bit of a garnish. 
So that's the plan of action. I'm gonna get very busy and uh, hopefully we can get this done as soon as possible because I am so hungry today. I'm also feeling quite tired. I had such a great sleep last night that I feel tired from it. I think that is a thing, I'm not sure. But I certainly do feel sometimes when I've had like a really solid sleep, like I slept like a log, I wake up and I'm like, oh, I feel really tired today. So I'm trying to work through that as much as possible. little update as to where we're at at the moment firstly clean work surface always tidy up after yourself number one rule in my kitchen secondly we've got the onions in with the butter and I put a little bit of garlic paste in there but I'm hoping to get some garlic out of the oven that will just slowly work its way down over the next half an hour to 45 minutes um, I've got a vegetable stock ready to load up with some boiling water and then in the oven at 200 degrees I've got my veg roasting away. I've decided to cut the veg up into small little pieces because I wanted to try to encourage a faster roasting process. Could be incorrect, but I'm assuming the smaller the pieces, the quicker it'll roast. So uh, we can get that into the pot and uh, mixed up because like I said, we're very hungry and uh, I've left it a little bit too late in the day, to be honest with you, to be doing a soup, but we're gonna do it anyway. <laughs> So if you take a look, you'll see that those onions are looking nice and soft. I'm going to get some water in there now quickly with the vegetable stock. Start off small with a small amount of water and then slowly build it up to get the right texture and consistency later on. So I saw this on Instagram. I don't know if it's a vibe, but we'll give it a go. This is a roasted garlic. I'm just gonna cut it down there. Let's see if we can get some of that out. Well, that is exactly why I put a little bit of garlic into the mix earlier on because when I got out the garlic clove I did notice that it was a little bit squidgy, felt a bit old, don't know how long it had been in the cupboard for and so I don't think that there was much garlic within there, I think it kind of shriveled up a lot but we got a little bit out and that did go in. Um, I almost forgot a very important stage, red lentils, I'm going to be sticking some red lentils in uh, just to help thicken it up, give it a bit of texture, add a little bit of hot water and get these working in here, keep this on the simmer. So far, it's looking good. It's smelling amazing. 
Just added a cup size of those. They're gonna be in for about 15 minutes, which is absolutely fine just to let this all kind of work its way down, soften up, and then I'm gonna get the blender out, give it a good blend. I found some yogurt in the fridge, which I might add in right at the very end. I'll speak to Liz because she might want it without, so we shall see. Currently what it's looking like in there. It smells absolutely delicious. I feel like in the future they're gonna design something where you can send smells down, so you can actually smell through your computer. I feel like that's a thing, it's gotta happen. How much easier would it be if we were like reviewing fragrances and we could just go These two being as good as gold after their morning walk. And there we have it. Two soups ready to go. I put a dollop of yogurt in one and I just spun my spoon around for a little bit of presentation on the other. Happy days, I hope you're hungry. Now for anybody that knows how to make soups, that was probably quite painful to watch, but it's come out quite well. It looks like a soup. Lydia's confirmed it tastes like a soup. And I absolutely love that if you've got nothing left in the fridge, to eat that you can just take some vegetables and you can make a veg <laughs> that took a while to clock then you can take some vegetables and make a soup um and so yeah it works well when we're running low of uh, ideas of what to eat yeah, soup is now the uh, new favorite in the household for lunch mm. delicious mm. look at these two suckling over the same toy you lovers. Lids. Are you feeding the ducks? <laughs> no. What have you done? You put it all in. Yes. And it means that your bread goes further. Oh, okay. So okay. you don't have as many. Fair enough. It's like croutons. Are you somebody that breaks up your bread and puts it into soup? That's another or thing do you, that you can Do you dip it? Sorry. Go on. Croutons. That's another thing you can do with old bread when it goes off, oh, okay. is toast it in the oven and turn it into really lovely, like when we get our big Croutons. loaves. Um, yeah, okay. Sort of, and Shatara, um like soaks them in garlic. <laughs> so in that last clip, <laughs> in that last clip, <laughs> Ali was trying to not show my face. And then, he, so I was talking and he turned the camera off and I was mid talking. He was like, no, 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 I, I'm not being rude. I'm just, I can tell that you, you don't want to show your face on camera today. I'm vlogging today. What are you trying to say? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with my face. Well, just the way you were <laughs> acting, I just thought you were signalling. Yeah, the way I was acting. Maybe you didn't want the camera in your face. I look like shit. No, 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 not at all. Not at all. You look how you always look. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, my stepmom marinates croutons in garlic. I think they got that bit. Butter, they didn't. Okay. And then she toasts it and you put it in the soup and oh my gosh, it's so good. It is very nice. Yeah. Old, like crusty loaves yeah. are perfect. Well, crack on with it, my love. <laughs> I'm just telling you because, you know. <laughs> <laughs> also, Lydia's been uh, keeping these crinkly old ball sacks on our table for far <laughs> too long. I'm just about Table to displays really looking a little bit yes. confused at the moment. It's because I'm literally about to change it in okay. my next video. I reckon those saggy, wrinkly old balls could go. Mm -hmm. AKA the figs. Lunch time all around. I feel like this video should be called like the amateur cooking club or something because I'm back in the kitchen again. I'm trying something new for the first time ever. Lydia and I had zucchini fries at the farmhouse 
a couple of weeks back and I was like, wow, these are amazing. So currently got my courgettes ready with milk and flour. I've also got some that have already started the frying process. And then I'm doing some asparagus, tomatoes and peppers, just to add a little bit of color. And then in the oven, I've got a couple of chicken breasts that are cheese stuffed with uh, bacon wrapped around them. It should be a very delicious dinner, but I'm, uh, I'm just playing around and experimenting and I'm quite enjoying it, it's quite good fun. Well, there we have it. We have our zucchini fries, a little bit of veg, chicken breast, and a little bit of lemon just to squeeze over these. The fire is on and Mr. Portolini is chewing on a treat. The young boy is fast asleep. Oh, no, you're not. I thought you were fast asleep. He was asleep. You gonna come and join us in the lounge? Yeah, he's coming in. Well, if he gets up, I will. You wanna come in the lounge, mate? Oh, you're so cute. You want a belly rub? Belly rub? <laughs> oh yeah, that's the spot. Well, Lids has just made the absolute shout of the evening. I'd completely forgot, but mass came out today, which means that we're able to watch it. So we've got the fire blazing. We've got the pup and the ice cream in hand. <laughs> this is very good. And sexual lover just- no, he's not having sex. He's nibbling the ear yeah. of his toy. Foreplay. Okay, that's the closest thing. Is that nice? You treating her good? I will go and get Lumi. And yeah, we're going to enjoy watching Mass and I'll give you a little update in the morning as to uh, how it went down. And you think the ice cream's good? I think it's really good. Yeah? Yeah, I like the nutty bits in this chocolate one. Yeah. For a plant-based ice cream it is, yeah exactly, it's just like normal ice cream. You wouldn't know any difference. Shut the front door. Yeah, it's plant-based. Wow, oh my gosh. Mm. I would never have known that. Yeah. I can't usually eat ice cream, can I? Oh yeah, you'll be able to eat this. That's what I mean. So if I don't yeah. get really unwell from this, then... Yeah, yeah, true. We've got four tubs in the freezer. <gasps> <laughs> like a proud mum. Mm. <laughs> so, um, but thank you for agreeing to meet us. And together. Oh, you're welcome. Firstly, yes, I am currently laying in the dog's bed. It's where I'm spending lots of my time at the moment. No guesses as to why. But catching up from yesterday evening, mass. Wow. It took a little while to get going. I felt like it was quite slow to get into the film. But if you persevere with it, it's really captivating it's very emotional it really gets you thinking and it's very interesting there were some really strong personalities around the table each of the actors just portrayed the different personalities so well there was like an element of awkwardness but they just really projected like the people and the emotions just brilliantly i can absolutely see why that was a critically acclaimed movie. It's one that I'd suggest you go and watch. I don't want to elaborate too much um, on the actual film because I'd be giving too much away by expressing my emotions, but let's just say that it certainly does evoke your own personal emotions. And I think that that's always a good sign of a film when that happens. So all in all, very impressed. And I'm really looking forward actually to getting tucked into some more Sky Cinema films over the coming year, as mentioned at the start of this video, and being just able to share them with you, share my thoughts with you. And because there's gonna be like one film each week coming out, I'm gonna have the opportunity to watch those and then suggest to you which ones that I think are worth going to watch and enjoy. So sadly then, my battery died, but 
all I was going to say was that I'm really looking forward to uh, documenting and sharing with you what's going on on Sky Cinema. I might even try and do maybe halfway through the year like a blog post, a bit of a summary of all of the things I've watched and enjoyed. So there's like a hub of information where you can refer to, to things to watch if you ever get stuck. And I've just realised that he's just tucked himself up next to me, hasn't he? He's literally fully submerged himself in the duvet. Are you having a little afternoon nap, my boy? <laughs> he does crack me up. He's so chilled. He's so much more chilled than Porter was when he was a puppy. My mum is just about to arrive to meet her new little fur niece. Yes, you're making all the noises. I don't know if you can hear him on the camera. Every time you touch him, he goes, oh. Yes. So I'm gonna get the house ready for their arrival and uh, I'm gonna get the kettle on because we're gonna be drinking lots of tea and I might even see if there's some cakes. It's Friday after all. I think this weekend I'm just gonna have a nice chilled one. I had a pretty heavy weekend uh, last weekend. I got to catch up with my friends and we went and watched the local football team play and it was just a lovely afternoon doing a bit of a pub crawl around the town where I grew up and then on the Friday evening of course we went to Paris House where I did a wine pairing so I ended up drinking like six glasses of wine because it was a six course meal and so it was a heavy weekend so this weekend I'm just going to rest, relax and spend a little bit of time with the boys. And of course, Lumi, don't worry, we don't forget about Lumi. And um, yeah, I'll leave all of the relevant information to this video down in the description box as always. And I hope you have a good rest of the week and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Peace.